YouTube famous. <laughs> hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, today is January 1st, 2018. It's absolutely wonderful to be able to say the year. And uh, it's just past 7 in the morning. Now, you guys might know I went to bed yesterday at like 4 a.m. and uh, might not be entirely sure why I woke up, uh, you know, only about three hours after the fact. And uh, well, the reason is because I'm with a couple of friends of mine with whom which I got my uh, pilot's license back in the summer of last year. Uh, and we're, we're going to downtown uh, to go watch the sunrise. So it's going to be pretty awesome. The exact place we're going to is uh, Prospect Point, which is an observation point in Stanley Park. And it's quite nice. So if you're ever in Vancouver, you should definitely go visit that place because it's lovely. It's really cool. You know, you're starting 2018 right with probably a pretty big failure to what our original plan was because the sun should be rising from right over there. Unfortunately, that uh, fog layer resists to move away. So uh, yeah, it's still there covering the entire city again. And yeah, we can't really see anything, but it's okay because we're making the most of it because there's some absolutely gorgeous views here and uh, yeah I mean we could see not all of it but parts of the North Shore of Vancouver and uh, of course you can see the bridge here with all of its pretty lights so oh, there it is there it is there it is Look. and yeah it's it's pretty cool so definitely if you're out here in Vancouver sometime you should come visit the Lionsgate Bridge you definitely won't regret it because it's it's really cool Anyways, if the sun does decide to come up, I'll, uh, I'll film that and share it with you guys. But uh, if not, we'll see if there's any other interesting things out here that I can share. It's really, really cold. It's not cold. <laughs> I think it's cold. It's pretty cold. It's freezing, actually, below, technically. And, uh, well, we, we still can't see the sun. That's all right, though, because... Uh, well, I mean, while a goal might have been to come and see the sunrise, I think one way how we're embracing the new year is realizing that things might not always work out the way we want them. But if you get all sad and upset for things not working out, well, you won't enjoy the beauty you have at hand, right? And I mean, while this might not have been exactly what we were expecting, it's still really cool. And of course, I'm having a joy of a time here with my buddies who are also enjoying uh, the view what it periodically comes when the fog moves away but the note to draw from this is that you know in life things don't always work out as planned but if you're rigid to the point where if it doesn't work out as planned that it makes you upset or sad well then you won't really realize the wonderful stuff around the moment though that you just take things for what they are even when they don't necessarily work out i.e. this one well you can just enjoy the little things that you weren't really expecting that life tossed in your way. <laughs> oh my god, it's cold. We're just driving here in Stanley Park, uh, going the long way out. Uh, and of course, just enjoying the beauty of this urban forest out here. And uh, well, it's really nice. Oh my goodness, I've, I've come to this speed. So we finally made it to IHOP. We actually made it to another one. We weren't planning on going all the way out to Richmond for IHOP, but this is where we are now. Um, I just got myself a never ending pot of coffee, which is great. And I just dumped a whole bunch of maple syrup into it. You know, it's, it's really good. You know, maple syrup is delicious. And I remember back a couple of years ago, I went to Quebec to this maple syrup shack, and there's maple syrup everything maple syrup sausages maple syrup uh, beans maple syrup this maple syrup that and it's so amazing because maple syrup is just wonderful which is what most Canadians will tell you hey boys so I had a little bit of a problem uh, when we were ordering <laughs> breakfast here because the menu at IHOP is absolutely massive 
is huge. I had no idea what to order. And finally, huge. when I had yeah. decided what I wanted to get, um, I flipped the page to find that they had breakfast nachos, believe it or not. It's just another layer of complexity there, uh, another layer of uh, internal conflict, and uh, quite a bit of struggle. But eventually I overcame those struggles and uh, I was able to come up with a decision. No, and that's what I did. <laughs> Alright, I'll show you guys what the food uh, looks like when it comes back. Oh, by the way, I ordered crepes. 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 And, uh, and some other stuff, like eggs and, you know, fried <laughs> potatoes, hash browns. Yeah, fun stuff. All right, until next. Food is here, and it looks scrumptious. <laughs> we have bacon, hash browns, two eggs, more bacon, and the cut. There's my buddy. Oh, and by the way, this is not a gang sign. Can we do it again? This is the ready for hookup sign, the international uh, hand signal to hook a glider up to the tow plane. I'll uh, hopefully cover how gliders fly in a future vlog and maybe I'll do it by showing you myself flying one of them because it's a whole bunch of fun. Here are the boys order their own stuff. There's chocolate pancakes here, uh, some eggs, more sausages, yeah, some fun stuff. Delicious. All right, yeah. time to dig in. <laughs> well, I just here, we just finished breakfast at uh, the International House of Pancakes. It's really good. Lots of food. Delicious time. And, uh, well, unfortunately, my friend um, Parker, he had to leave. I'm not really sure why he had to leave, but he's gone now. And he went back home. I don't know. He, he had some, like, I don't know. His parents probably needed him for something. And, well, I'm still here with Isaiah and Blake. Now a little bit of a backstory to these two boys here that I'm joined with today is um, that I met them, well I met Blake quite a while ago, but Isaiah and the most most of these uh, friends I have in this group, I met them over the summer, or summer 2017, and the way we met was uh, we all went to uh, the Air Cadet gliding programs, uh, glider program, well, it's, it's this training course that's run by the Department of National Defense with the Air Cadet League of Canada at um, select Air Force bases across Canada. The one here for our province, which is British Columbia, is at the Air Force base in Comox, which is on Vancouver Island. And well, we were all uh, selected through a very rigorous and very competitive uh, selection process to be trained as pilots for the Air Cadet program at the Air Force base at, uh, at Comox on Vancouver Island. And well, we spent almost, yeah, just shy of two months together learning how to fly, but more importantly, learning how to work as a team to accomplish something we all love, right? And it was insane. So much fun time, not just in the flying aspect of things, but just getting to know other people who are really as passionate as myself for aviation. And, you know, we're a couple months after the fact now you know three four five months later and we still hang out together because we just adore each other's company being able to uh talk about aviation and all that sort of stuff right reasons we love aviation are all very different right i really like it because of the lifestyle my friend isaiah really likes it because of uh the the specific complexities there is to the protocols and the patterns that you follow and my friend Blake he just loves the adventure and the freedom that comes with aviation but at the end of the day aviation is aviation and that's something that joins us all and uh, well you know it's just so much fun we've uh, made it to YVR YVR Vancouver's International Airport and I'm joined here again by Isaiah and Blake right behind me over there we got our cameras and everything set up here to uh, take photos of all the inbound airplanes. Whee!
Time is now 1.15. It's pretty early in the day actually. It's just the beginning of the afternoon, but I'm dead tired. Oh my. I, you know, didn't even wake up all that early compared to Isaiah here, who woke up at 4.30, went to bed at 2. He's been up for a long time and very little sleep, and he's just been driving around the entire Fraser Valley, which is the area here surrounding Vancouver. And, well, we, we went plane spotting, and we uh, we took a lot of airplane photos and a lot of airplane videos, and after uh, one of the bigger airplanes landed, we decided to call it a day, because it was just... And, uh, yeah, well, that's the scoop for today. So unless there's some other spontaneously fun activity I do after, after I take a nap, <laughs> that's about it for today. All right, catch you later. Have a good one.